Assalamualaikum to all So, we are given a task to make a video for subject MEC421 Vibration Here, I will explain on chapter 2 entitled Free Vibration of Single Degree of Freedom So, what the basic knowledge that we need to know about this chapter Here, I will explain the introduction Free vibration means a system oscillates only under an initial disturbance with no external force acting on it. It will remain on motion with no damping and no energy loss. For example, like a system of pendulum which we only give uh, energy on initial state and let it move freely. Free vibration for undamped system. There are two types of motion which we widely use in fundamental of physics. Firstly is linear motion. Here I will explain about the linear motion or also known as translational motion. Okay, here like I said previous, a system is set off with an initial input or energy and then allow it to move or vibrate freely. Since there is no element that causes dissipation of the energy during the motion, the amplitude of the motion remains constant with time. Spring mass system is one of the examples of a system that works on linear motion. From this spring mass system, okay, from the figure given. What we can see a spring is attached to body mass. The spring and the body mass are both have their own force acting which we can express in using Newton's second law. For every system we need to find the equation of motion. Here are the steps on how to find the EOM. Firstly observe and analyze the physical system. Second list out all the mathematical equation from the figure. Third, draw the free body diagram. Fourth, using Newton's second law, F equals MA. And lastly, we got the equation of motion. Here, I will show an example on how to find the equation of motion. Okay, firstly, try to understand and observe the figure given. Okay, for this figure, we can see the spring is attached to body mass. So, we know this is a linear motion system. Then, we draw the free body diagram for the spring and the body mass system. So, we got two FBD for spring and body mass. Equation based on Newton's second law, F equals MA. For spring, F equal kx and for body mass F equal mx double dot combine both equation then we rearrange it by leave the x double dot on single term then we complete the equation of motion okay now I will explain about the rotational system a rotational system which a circular motion okay like a previous topic Second Newton law for translational is F equal kx double dot but for rotational we can get the second Newton law is M equal I theta double dot which M stand for moment to show write the Newton second law for rotational to obtain the equation of motion M equal I theta double dot negative K times theta equal I theta double dot rearrange and we get the theta double dot plus K over I theta equal to zero. Here the example on how to find the equation of motion for rotational system. This the figure given and which case the free body diagram. Okay, the first thing, apply the second Newton law, which supplement of moment equal to I theta double dot. For moment force, we get the negative L cos theta times 2 kx 
plus L divided by 2 sin theta times mg equal to I theta double dot. We rearrange I theta double dot plus L cos theta times 2 kx minus L divided by 2 sin theta times mg equal to 0. For here, we assume the small angle of rotation which cos theta equal to 1 and sin theta equal to theta. To get the equation of motion, we need to leave the theta double dot in single term. So we divide by i for all the equation and we change the x to L sin theta. i which is i rot equal 1 over 3 ml squared after using the mathematics we get the equation of motion equal to theta double dot plus 6 k over m minus 3 g over 2 l times theta equal to 0 okay on next subtopic i will explain about the moment of inertia for the moment of inertia, there are two types that we can learn. With the first is area moment of inertia, and the second type is mass moment of inertia. We'll explain for the first type, which area moment of inertia. Area moment of inertia first moment of area equal to centroid the second moment of area equal to moment of inertia the definition given ix equal to la y square times dA the polar moment of inertia is an important parameter in problems involving torsional of cylindrical shaft and rotational of slabs Okay, now explain for the second type which mass moment of inertia or the short form MMI. The mass moment of inertia of a body is a property that measures the resistance of the body to angular acceleration. Consider a rigid body and the arbitrary axis P shown in the figure. The MMI about the P axis is definitely as I equal to LM, MR square DM, where R, the moment arm, is the perpendicular distance from the axis to the arbitrary element DM. The mass moment of inertia is always a positive quantity and has a unit of kg m square. The radius of gyration as units of length and is a measure of the distribution of the body mass above the axis at which the moment of inertia is defined i equal to m k times 2 the five examples for common shape for every shape there are different moment of inertia that we need to find for example the first shape is slender rod. The slender rod moment of inertia is IP equal to 1 over 3 ml square, IG equal to 1 over 12 ml square. For the thin ring, IG equal to MR square. For the thin disc, IG equal to 1 over 2 MR square. For the sphere, IG equal to 2 over 5 MR square and for the rectangular, IG equal to 1 over 12 M square plus 1 over 12 M B square. Okay, next for the parallel axis theorem. If the mass moment of inertia of a body about an axis passing through the body's mass center is known, then the moment of inertia about any other parallel axis may be determined by using the parallel axis theorem. Figure we can get the moment of inertia. IO plus IC equal to MD square. IO is moment of inertia point O. IC moment of inertia centroid O and the MD square is the moment of inertia due to distance between O and C.
Okay, here the example on how to calculate the moment of inertia. Okay, we can see the figure. We got a rod with a length of 450 mm and the mass, the ball mass at the bottom with the radius of 100 mm. For the system shown in below, obtain the moment of inertia about 0.0 mass of the rod and bob are 10 kg and 15 kg respectively. Solution IO equal to IG plus M this moment of inertia for the rod 1 over 12 times 10 kg times 0.45 meter square plus 10 kg times 0.225 square equal to 0.675 kg meter square as moment of inertia for the rod we get the 4.598 kg meter square now add two of them and equal with 5.27 kg meter square okay for the next subtopic is equation of motion what is equation of motion for free body diagram for undamped system? Important step in deriving equation of motion. First, draw free body diagram and kinetic diagram. Identify and generalize coordinate. Okay, same as first subtopic which is translational motion same as before we need to sketch the free body diagram and then apply the newton second law of motion to get the force expressed of equation okay let's go for the example on how to find the equation of motion for translation motion Okay, from this figure, we can see a spring system and the mass body system. For K equal to 500 and per meter, obtain the equation of motion for the spring mass system shown in figure 1. Find the equation of motion. Okay, follow the step like a previous subtopic. We draw the FBD, the free body diagram, and the KD, the kinetic diagram. The free body diagram the force direction must against the force acting on real system from this figure we can see the spring on the right side is contract because the mass body moved to the right so in free body diagram the right spring will directing to the elongates apply the newton second law for fpd and kd we plus plot of equation rearrange the equation the omega square we got is 1 for 1.75 and t is 2 pi over omega n and equal to 0 0.53 for the equation of motion for rotational system okay from this figure we can see the mass and the spring is attached to the pulley we make the system of rotation system from this we apply the Newton second law and we can get the submission moment equal to I theta double dot okay now we show the example how to find the equation of motion on rotational motion Equation, obtain the equation of motion for the system shown in figure 2 okay the solution same as before draw FPD during static equilibrium condition introducing the support force P and Q by springs to hold the system in static equilibrium take equilibrium of moment about point O Submission moment O equal to 0 Negative QR, negative PR times MGR equal to 0 Thus P plus Q equal to MG These are the spring force to hold the system in equilibrium Then draw the FBD and KD of the 
physical system moment from FVD equal to submission moment from KD so we can get negative 2 KXR plus MDR minus KXR minus BR minus QR equal to I theta double dot plus MX theta double dot R1 but X theta double dot equal to R theta double dot thus what we can get theta bracket 1 plus MR square bracket plus 3KR square theta equal to 0 the body disappear in the equation of motion because to make the solution step shorter we also discard the body weight in the equation so the natural frequency we can get omega n equal to set 3kr square over 1 plus m r square Okay, the next subtopic we will learning about the energy method. Okay, the free vibration involved of kinetic energy and potential energy. For translation, T equal 1 over 2 mx dot square and for rotation T equal 1 over 2 i double dot square. T plus U equal to C There are 3 steps more First, calculate both kinetic and potential energy at general displacement Second, apply partial derivative to the total energy and equal it to 0 And lastly, simplify the equation Okay, here the example on how to use the energy method Okay, the figure given, the spring and the body mass. Total energy at max position U equal 1 over 2 kx square. Total energy when written to the equilibrium position T equal 1 over 2 mx square. T plus U equal to 0 and we apply the second derivative and we can get mx double dot square plus kx square equal to 0 in order to get the equation of motion we must let the x double dot in single term and always remember omega n equal to set k over m for the last subtopic we will learn about the viscous damping system Okay, what is viscous damping system? A damping system or device that dissipates mechanical energy with force times velocity and you can get in terms of F equals C times X dot with C equal to damping coefficient Generally, there are two types of damping First, viscous damping and the second one is column damping due to surface friction but we also learning the viscous damping the of motion for viscous damping is a little bit different from yearly subtopic because in this subtopic we will get the value of C which the C is the damper in our system there are four types of damping ratio in this viscous damping system damping ratio or we call it zeta is equal to c over cr or c over 2 mass times omega n the solution of equation depends on damping factor case 1 zeta equal to 0 case 2 zeta bigger than 0 but lower than 1 case 3 zeta equal to 1 and case for zeta bigger than 1 for the first case is undamp or no damping zeta equal to 0 and what we can see from the graph is the frequency and amplitude is constant for the case number 2 which is system is under damping 
for this the value of zeta is bigger than zero but lower than one for this the system is got a damper and the frequency of the graph will become lower and become to zero For the case number 3 which is critical then the value of zeta is equal to 1. What we can see from the graph, the frequency of the graph will become direct to 0 because the damper is observed all the vibration that will happen. And lastly for the case number 4 which is over them. For this case, the value of zeta is bigger than 1. The graph for this case is same like case number 3 because the frequency is direct to 0 because the damper is observed all the vibration that happen. Okay, here are the examples on calculate the case number 2 which is under them ok the question a dam spring mass has m 12 kg k 12 and over mm and c 0.3 and s over mm we calculate the zeta and we can get the 0.395 since the zeta is below than 1 so this is under them so we can get the equation response of time x exponent negative 12.493 Say sign 2905 p plus p for the example number two sam which is case number two which is under them a single degree of freedom viscosity dam system has a spring stiffness of 6000 newton per meter critical damping constant of 0.3 ns per mm and a damping ratio of 0.3 if the system is given an initial velocity of 1 meter per second, determine the maximum displacement of the system. Since our zeta is 0.3, it is below than 1, so the system is under 10. We assume that initial displacement is 0. The maximum displacement we can get is x equal to exponent negative zeta omega n t over omega n which occur when omega n t equal to pi over 2 cc as we know equal to 2 mass omega n and omega n equal to set k over n the maximum x is 0 0.015 meter